Backpropagation is what makes a machine learn. It is the key difference between any other algorithm, and machine learning algos. As the name suggests, backpropagation is the feedback loop going back to the model with intelligence to improve the next feedback loop. Let us see how it works intuitively. Initialize the weights, and bias of every neuron with a random value, and predict the output. Then, calculate the error which is the difference in predicted output, and actual output. This error is also called as loss function. If the error is not within an acceptable range then update the weights, and bias in the previous layers to reduce the error. The new weights, and bias go back in the network, which is used to predict the output. The process is repeated until the error is reduced to an acceptable level. Let us understand this through a simple example. We have input x as 1, 2, and 3, and actual output as 3, 7, and 8. A function with weight as 2, and bias as 0 is used to predict the output y from input x. The predicted output is, 2, 4, and 6, and error is, 1, 3, and 2, as shown in the table. This results in mean squared error of 4.66. We have used mean squared error as the loss function here. To reduce the mean squared error, we can either increase or decrease the weight. If we decrease the weight from 2 to 1, the mean squared error increases from 4.66 to 18. Therefore, we increase the weight from 2 to 3 which causes the mean squared error to reduce from 4.66 to 0.66. This is a very simple example to understand how weights might be changed in a single neuron. To summarize, after every forward propagation, an error between predicted, and actual outcome is calculated. The value of weights are changed to reduce this error. In the previous example, we have used trial and error method to reduce the error but generally, a complicated technique such as gradient descent is used to determine the required change in weights and biases. In our model, we have used a stochastic gradient descent function which is a popular iterative method to gradually reach a minimum of the loss function.